boy named Kang lived in a poor village, but was cheerful because he loved to paint. He happily drew animals in the dirt and on rocks with his wet finger. His creativity was endless. One night, a white owl flew into his bedroom. In a flash, the owl changed into an old man. He said, A boy with your talent deserves a gift from the gods. Here is a magic paintbrush. Use it to make people happy. Kang quickly painted a bird, which came to life. He ran and found his father standing by a broken cart. Kang painted a new wheel and fixed it. His father was overjoyed. Kang spent the day fixing things for his father. They were both very happy. News of Kang's paintbrush spread through the village. Kang eagerly painted new farming equipment for all his neighbors. Only the greedy rancher, Jin Yu, was unhappy. He had Kang kidnapped and thrown into an abandoned shed. When Jin Yu came to the shed, he found that Kang had painted a comforting fire and a ladder. He had escaped. In a rage, Jin Yu kicked over the fire and burned the shed to the ground. Kang watched the chaos from afar, then ran home. The story of Kang's magic paintbrush reached far and wide. The peasants loved the tale of the little boy with the big heart who helped farmers out of poverty. When the cruel and greedy emperor heard this, he offered a reward for Kang's capture. The emperor's soldiers captured Kang and threw him in jail and confiscated his brush. Using the magic paintbrush, the emperor painted a long bar of gold. It wriggled off the paper as a serpent. Then he drew a phoenix to lay golden eggs. The bird came to life as a chicken. The furious emperor ordered Kang to paint a ship large enough for the royal family and all its servants. Kang drew a beautiful boat gilded with gold and gems. Next he was ordered to draw a river. When it came to life, it rushed into a tidal wave. The wave destroyed the royal palace and pulled the boat far out to sea. The evil emperor never returned. Kang drew himself a horse and escaped. And what became of him from then on? Some say he spent his life helping the poor. Others claim he painted an animal refuge in the mountains, drawing until the day he died.